People don't understand how valuable art is because we don't teach people the value of art. Art is a tool for self-reflection. Art is a tool for resistance. Art is a tool for building relationships, for building community, for mourning. When people really understand art as a social tool, we see healthier, happier, more engaged people. My name is Kate DeCicio, and I'm a community artist. I work predominantly like with communities making portraiture as a tool for counter-narrative. I've made murals to promote peace in areas where there's high gun violence. I've made murals that are community stories in areas of gentrification. And I also make portraits of parents who've lost their kids to police brutality. This specifically is a space where different local artists in DC have made 12 parachutes for the upcoming Women's March tomorrow. When I think about like the objectives of the Women's March, there's lots of focus on how it is that we can be using our platforms to really raise each other up. And so I made the decision to do a portrait of Corinne Gaines' mother, Rhonda Dormis, and her granddaughter to really highlight the story of Corinne Gaines and to support people who've been impacted by police brutality. This is about families. This is about women being left to care for their entire families and the trauma that's a result of any kind of violent loss. I would say that my work is probably unique from a lot of artists because it's so integrated with the activism. When you make art, you're trying to think of how can I make something with messaging that affirms the experience that people are having or the goal that we're working towards. For the Women's March, I made three posters. One of them was this beautiful image that Cindy Trin had taken of this woman at a protest who, to me, embodied the idea that the Women's March could be a commitment for us to become our fullest by supporting one another. I made the decision to submit an image to Amplifier for distribution because I think of my art as a tool for the community. And if I can make that tool accessible to more people, awesome. I open up this box and it's just a 500 poster stack of my work that was printed well, and in the corner it says Amplifier Foundation, Kate DeCicio. March was the first time where I had digital copies of artwork that I had made. Generally, I use stencils that I've already created and I'll make between 20 and 50 signs that I then bring on cardboard and pass them out. For the Women's March, Amplifier printed literally thousands of pieces of my work. Right now we're headed into the march and they're working on where they're going to place our parachutes so that we can be towards the front and leading the march. And Rhonda and Vicky are both here. Rhonda is featured on the parachute. Oh my God, it is overwhelming, it's humbling. I'm just so excited and blessed because for one, I know my baby would have been here. This is what she fought for. She honored the woman as a powerful being. I just, I don't even, the emotions are so they're running such a gambit right now. I don't know whether I want to laugh, cry, but we'll see. Then we got to the march and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of posters with incredible messaging, really fun, smart, witty, serious, bold, beautiful messaging. And it was really cool that mixed in with that, there was my work. So there'd be all kinds of different posters and then one of mine, and then all kinds of different posters and then one of mine. And to see that women chose to carry my poster of all the things that they could choose, that that was the message that resonated with them. That was just incredible and overwhelming and felt like this is why you do this work. It wasn't what I expected, but it was really, it, yeah. I'm speechless. When Rhonda came, I was across the parachute from her. As she saw it, 
open up and see herself and all these people here to shed light on this story and to support families who've lost loved ones due to police brutality. It was really powerful. This is why you do this work. This is why you build relationships in their community and talk to them about how are we gonna represent you so that this stops. About three quarters of the way through the rally, the organizers realized that there was actually so many people that we filled the space that was planned for the march to exist. And the cheers around us got louder and louder and louder and louder with each speaker saying, march, 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 march. People actually like jumped over fences and found little pathways onto the mall, which was amazing because there were so many young people, old people, people coming for like all different issues all aspects of the human experience and the things that matter to women were covered. It was an incredible freeform march unlike anything that I've ever seen in my life. I think that always I believed in the power of art and so when I see people carrying work that I've made for this fight, I feel like I'm in the absolute right place using my skill set for exactly what I want to use it for. And that's what, like, something that I can do. There's many parts of this that I can't do. I'm not a lawyer. I can't spend all my time community organizing. I can be an artist. And as artists, part of our power is in claiming our own stories and in making artwork to amplify the story of the issue that matters to us. And with that artwork, you have tremendous power. Mm -hmm.